welcome back everyone. Let's start things off with a big white scallop. Ooh, doesn't that one look good? Yeah, definitely like that. Well, it looks like my first cowrie today is going to be a little common blue cowrie. Oh yeah, that one looks nice. Let's see if I can find any of the bigger cowries today too. Ooh, is that another one of those flat sand snails? Oh, it is. Let me just wash it out in this little bit of water. Oh wow, I like these. Look at the color on that. Just a little flat dude instead of the thick chunky boys. Oh, I see a little cowrie. What's this one? Oh, oh wow, look at that. Oh wow, that's a, that's a really beautiful cowrie. Wow. I'm not really sure what it is. The big spot on top might make me say Stilitta, but I don't think it is. Wow, that looks really good though. My first Erosa. Oh yeah, that looks like a nice one. It looks like a snakehead buried in the sand. Is it alive? It's, oh, it's empty. Oh wow, it looks like a really kind of like young snakehead because it feels very delicate. Wow, that's a nice one. That looks really fresh and shiny. Even with the water on it, I think it will, um, it'll be quite glossy in the end. Ooh, some little cone shells. One there and one there. Hey, they look pretty good. Yeah, I like the patterns on that one. That's a good one. That one seems a bit older actually, but I like the orange one. What is this supposed to be? I mean, it's holish, but it's like white. Is it a really faded blue cowrie? I'm not sure. That's a, that's a strange one. Ooh, what kind of cowrie is that? Oh, it's another one of those little gray cowries. I'm not really sure what they are. Maybe another snake head. Let's check it out. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh Maddie, the ultimate butterfingers. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice one as well. There we go, snakehead number two today. Oh, I just picked up this cowrie from next to the snakehead and I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it looks kind of unusual, like its shape is a bit different than normal. Its color, I don't know, that's a cool one as well. Wow, is that anything? Oh, down we go. What's this? What's this? What's this? Wait, what is this? I don't know, that looks like a really beaten up bonnet or like a like a helmet shell or something. I'm not really sure. Oh wow, I just haven't seen a, a shell that shape before. It's a pity it's got a big hole in it. Wow. The waves really did a number on it. Is that a cone shell? Or just like a poinciana seed? What is this? What is this? Oh, oh wow. That's a big cone. Look at how thrashed it is. Wow, that's cool. I'm gonna take this one because I've never seen a cone like that beaten up and that big before. I'm not really sure what type it is, but whoa. That's a, that's a super unusual one. And right next to the big old cone, I nearly missed this. Whoa, that's a massive piece of that circleception coral. That's the biggest, nicest bit I've found of it, wow. I promised myself no more moon snails. Oh, hello doggo. Do you like the moon snails? Oh, that's a nice white one. So this dog was actually trying to get my shell. It was trained to pick up big shells and take them back to its owner. Like, what a good shelling dog. <laughs> oh wow, I just picked up this piece. I got no idea what this is from, but wow, wouldn't that have been nice? I had a very enthusiastic dog come over while I was picking this up. What is this? I, I have no idea, it's half broken, but wow. Look at the textures on that. I've never seen a shape this shape. Oh, I've never seen a shell this shape. That's a really cool one. Oh, is that a clandestine? Oh, I think maybe it is a clandestine. It's hard to tell. The, uh, yeah. The stripes on that aren't really kind of noticeable, but yeah, I think it's a clandestine. Oh wow, it's gotta be alive, right? I'm just gonna check though. Oh, yep, this guy's stuck to the rock. Wow, 
that is one live Arabian. That is super duper nice. Or a Glentina, I'm not sure. He's got lots of spots on him. Nice. I see under this rock, possibly, yes, it is whole. Oh wow, that is a very nice looking cherry. It's got some slight banding on it with um, lighter and darker shades of orange and a bit of, does it have purple in his teeth? It looks like it. Wow, that is a very nice shell. <laughs> no way, it was just sitting there. I picked up something that was kind of a dud over there and now I just look down and see this. Is it alive? Oh, oh, I'm not sure if it's stuck in the slime or if it's alive. I think it's alive. Yep, that one's definitely alive. Won't pull that one anymore. Dang, that's a nice cowrie too. Ooh, I haven't found anything in a while and now I spot this. Oh, oh yes, look at that snakehead. Empty, yes, wow. It's so like bright and light on top. Is that being picked up on camera okay? Wow, that is a really nice snakehead. Oh, I see possibly some things over here. Let's have a look. Is this big old orange one alive? Oh, let's check it, let's check it. It's, I mean, there's a snail on it, and oh, there's a crab on it, and that's alive. Hey, this one looks empty. Maybe that crab wanted to make it its new home. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's a nice trident shell. I'm definitely keeping that one. Ooh, what kind of cowrie is that? Oh, it's eating something else. Oh yeah, that one looks kind of cool. Not sure what it is, but it's nom 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 eating another shell. So there we go. Whoa, what is this? Is there anything in it? I don't see anything in it. Wow, that's a nice one. Not really sure what to make of it. I just had to put this one back because I just noticed a crab in the side and look at this. Is this another Humphreys cowrie? <gasps> wow, this is a very nice Humphreys cowrie. Wow. It's got way more little dots than my first one. Wow, that is absolutely spectacular. What an excellent little cowrie. I literally just moved this shell pile to the side and what do I find? That is a very beautiful clandestine cowrie. Wow, the stripes on that are very apparent. That's probably, oh, that's gonna be like one of my nicest ones ever. No, that one's a, uh, what's this? Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, wow, I don't know what this is. It's broken, but wow, what a nice shell. I'm probably gonna keep that anyway. It looks nice from that side. Some kind of tongue shell, I think. Another little cowrie. And oop, another little cowrie. I'm, I'm keep dropping it. There we go. Oh, lots of little cowries today. They're pretty nice. I'm usually terrible at spotting great, oh sorry, spotting uh, bean cowries. There we go. I'm usually terrible at spotting little bean cowries. That's a nice one. Oh, a nice blue cowrie. I see another very nice clandestine. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I see cowrie teeth here. What's this one? <gasps> Whoa! No way, that's such a nice delitter. What? Wow, the pattern on that is so good. Wow, that's got to be like, I don't know, 50, 40 centimeters tall. That's the biggest water sea sponge I've ever seen. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so here are the shell finds for today. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to see my next exciting adventure. But for now, let's see which ones were the favorites. And it's so hard to pick. Even though there's no really big ones here, there are so many really nice ones. Uh, I gotta give a shout out to this little Humphreys cowrie. These ones are pretty rare. This is my second one I found. And the dots and pattern on top look so much nicer than my first one. I really like that one, so yep. Another one of those flat sand snails. Absolutely love those to bits. They are the best. Oh, this clandestine here is absolutely gorgeous. It just has these nice stripes on it. Like just, just, oh, I can't tell you how pleased I am with that little clandestine. Beautiful cherry and you know what? 
my favorite is it's probably gonna be a toss-up between this really dark snakehead and this moon snail now if you saw my last video you will see that I picked up about a dozen moon snails and I promised myself today no more moon snails but gosh I just love the black and white shells and this moon snail is I've never seen a white moon snail before so this is absolutely fantastic oh and I forgot my little friend the Stolita cowrie that was a huge surprise it's like a, it's a sunny weekend there's got to be at least a dozen beachcombers here I did not expect to see this one just sitting in the sand still available so wow that one was a surprise so yes that's it let me know in the comments which ones were your favorites and thank you so much for watching guys bye